Thank you, Madam Speaker, members. I ask that this body adjourn in the memory of Kevin Garland. Kevin was only 47 years old when he was tragically killed when a car crossed the double yellow line and he was on his way home to the mountain community that he loved. You know, Kevin's whole life was about others. He, he, that evening, he had actually stopped on his way home to pick up supplies for the Mountain Fife and Drum Corps that he had founded a decade before. Here is a man who had such a profound impact on our community. He, he touched the lives of so many children, hundreds and hundreds who went through the Mountain Fife and Drum Corps where he had a passion to share with him his love of music, his deep and abiding patriotism. He wanted to teach the children, the next generation, why he loved America so much, why he thought America was such a great country. You know, he was not just a, a leader of that mount, mountain fife and drum corps, he was also a Boy Scout leader. He was my son's troop leader. And you know, in part, he's responsible for me being here. Because I used to be a very shy and introverted person and was <laughs> terrified of people. And I went to this, to this Boy Scout camp out and he helped me put up my tent and he made me feel comfortable, he made me feel welcome. So I decided to walk up to the next person. I said, okay, maybe it's safe to talk to people. And I went across the way and I talked to another parent and this parent said to me, she said, do you live on Grandview Road and did you put a note on my car when I parked in your driveway last winter? And I said, I don't know, it depends on what the note said. And she said, well, the note said, if you park in my driveway again, I'm gonna take my plow and drive you off into the cliff. And I said, yeah, that sounds like me. My point is, Kevin drew out people and, and drew out the best in us. And for me, here I was terrified to talk to people, but I was able to talk to this lady in my community. I was able to patch it up with her to where she became one of my most ardent supporters. And that never would have happened without Kevin, without him drawing out the best in people. He, he served in the Civil Air Patrol. He is survived by his wife, Lisa, and his children, Alexander, Nicholas, and Jaden. And I have to tell you that there is probably no one in our community for whom there has been a greater outpouring uh, than, than him at his tragic passing at such a young age. Kevin Garland served others because he loved people, he loved his country, and he had a dramatic impact on the lives of children, and he will be missed. Thank you.